This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. That's L-I-B-I-R-I-V-O-X dot org. Recorded by Glenn Hallstrom, a.k.a. Smokestack Jones. Smokestackjones at gmail.com The Shooting of Dan McGrew by Robert W. Service A bunch of the boys were whooping it up in the Malamute Saloon. That kid that handles the music box was hitting a jag time tune. Back at the bar in a solo game sat dangerous Dan McGrew. And watching his luck was his light of love, that lady that's known as Lou. When out of the night, which was fifty below, and into the din and the glare, there stumbled a miner fresh from the creeks, dog dirty and loaded for bear. He looked like a man with a foot in a grave and scarcely the strength of a louse. Yet he tilted a poke of dust on the bar, and he called for drinks on the house. There was none that could place the stranger's face, though we searched ourselves for a clue, but we drank his health, and the last to drink was dangerous Dan McGrew. There's men that somehow just grip your eyes and hold them hard like a spell. And such was he, and he looked to me like a man who had lived in hell, with a face most hair and the dreary stare of a dog whose day is done, as he watered the green stuff in his glass and the drops fell one by one. And I got to figuring who he is and wondering what he'd do. I turned my head, and there watching him was a lady that's known as Lou. His eyes were rubbering around the room, and he seemed in a kind of daze, till at last that old piano fell in the way of his wandering gaze. The ragtime kid was having a drink. There was no one else on the stool. So the stranger stumbles across the room and flops down there like a fool. In a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt, he sat, and I saw him sway. Then he clutched those keys with his taloned hands. My God, but that man could play. Were you ever out in the great alone, when the moon was awful clear, and the icy mountains hemmed you in with a silence you could almost hear, with only the howl of a timber wolf, and you camped there in the cold, a half-dead thing in a stark dead world, clean mad for the muck called gold? While high overhead, green, yellow, and red, the northern lights swept in bars, then you've a hunch what the music meant, hunger and night stars. And hunger not of the belly kind, that's banished with bacon and beans, but the gnawing hunger of lonely men for a home and all that it means, for a fireside far from the cares that are, four walls and a roof above, but oh, so cramful of cozy joy and crowned with a woman's love. A woman dearer than all the world, and true as heaven is true. God, how ghastly she looks through a rouge, the lady that's known as Lou. Then on a sudden the music changed, so soft you could scarce could hear, but you felt your life had been looted clean and for all it once held dear. That someone had stolen the woman you loved, that her love was a devil's lie, that your guts are gone and the best for you was to crawl away and die. T'was the crowning glory of heart's despair as it thrilled you through and through. I guess I'll make it a spread, Miss Air, said dangerous Dan McGrew. The music almost died away, then it burst like a pent-up flood. And it seemed to say, Repay, repay, and my eyes were blind with blood. The thought came back of an ancient wrong, and it stung like a frozen lash. And the lust awoke to kill, to kill! And the music stopped with a crash. And the stranger turned, and his eyes they burned in a most peculiar way, in a buckskin shirt that was glazed with dirt he sat, and I saw him sway. Then his lips went in in a kind of a grin, and he spoke, and his voice was calm said, and boys, said he, you don't know me and none of you care a damn, but I want to state, and my words are straight, and I'll bet my poke they're true, that one of you is a hound in hell, and that one is Dan McGrew. Then I ducked my head and the lights went out, and two guns blazed in the dark, and a woman screamed and the lights went up, and two men lay stiff and stark. Pitched on his head and pumped full of lead was dangerous Dan McGrew. While a man from the creeks lay clutched to the breast of the lady that's known as Lou. These are the simple facts of the case, and I guess I ought to know. They say the stranger was crazed with hooch, and I'm not denying it so. I'm not so wise as the lawyer guys, but strictly between us two, the woman that kissed him and pinched his poke was the lady that's known as Lou.
End of the Shooting of Dan McGrew by Robert W. Service